All right. Welcome to Online Math TV. Here we have a challenge, but this time on a different topic, not on exponential equation. And uh, the reason why I'm bringing this topic, uh, okay, a challenge on geometry, is because uh, some of my viewers ask why my questions are always on exponential equations and a logarithm. Uh, the reason is that is what most of the viewers have actually requested for. Okay, so the essence of being here is not to satisfy my urge, but uh, to at least please my viewers. So if you have said we should also work on some um, topics on the uh, geometry. So here we have with a question. Now, from the diagram, according to the Thompson you saw on the page, uh, here has a pink color and here is a blue. Okay, so we are asked to find the area of the uh, blue area of this uh, uh, triangle. Okay, but before we're going to uh, analyze this uh, triangle and to solve this challenge, if you're new to this channel, this is Online Math TV, and my name is Jigs Animal. Here we solve mathematics all the time, ranging from different topics. Okay, so let's go to today's business. Now, we have a diagram, and we have triangle EFH. Okay, now from this diagram, we have uh, two triangles embedded inside this diagram so here we have the first one is e f g and the second one is e g h okay this is a triangle this is a triangle this is a right angle triangle and this is a scaly triangle now let's look at the officials we have on that is it said the question say in the figure above line e f this is e f is equal to HCM, then line FG. Let's look at our FG. FG say this XCM and line GH. This is GH is equal to X plus 2 as seen here. Then your angle EFG equal to 90 degree. EFG. Yeah, it's 90 degree. Then the area of triangle EFG. E, F, G. What is the area of this blue region? According to the terms, okay, so this is what we're going to solve for you now. So, now, before we go into today's solving, if you're new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe, okay? Kindly subscribe, because we drop new mathematical challenges all the time. All right, so let's look at this now. Let's take our solution there. So, we take solution. The first thing we do here is to uh, take a look at the whole of this diagram and we must get the value of x here before we can be able to solve for um, uh, the area here. So what we do first here is two triangles or two diagrams we have here, the two figures we have here are just triangles. So let's look for the area here, the area here and the area of the whole triangle. So let's go by saying here area, area of triangle E F G okay of area uh, triangle E F G this is equal to the formula for area of a triangle as we all know is 1 all over 2 B times H if it's a right angle triangle okay uh, we have the Euros formula which is um, one of the formula for solving the area of a triangle which is um, equal to the square root of s bracket x minus a close bracket into your x minus b into your x minus c i believe you are acquitted with that okay but so from this diagram this is the formula for area we're going to use here now so what we do we look for our base and height from e f g the base is x and the height is given to be 8. So yeah, this will not give us area. So let's label this area of small a1. Okay, area a1 is equal to 1 all over 2 times our b is x, which is the base here, and our height is 8. Okay, every all over 1, all over 1 here. Yeah. So 2 year 1, 2 year will give us 4. So we're going to have a1 equal to our 4x we don't know the value of x so let's give this equation one so what we do here is to look for the area of e f 
G, which is the area of the bigger triangle. So we call it say area of triangle. Your E, F, H will not be equal to what? We use the same formula: half base times height, because this height is still for the bigger triangle. Okay, so let's go down and let's give this area of this bigger triangle your capital A equal to one all over two times. What is the base? The base comprises of year to year and year to year, which is x plus x plus 2. So this, you can put in bracket your x plus x plus 2, close bracket, times what is the height? It's maintaining the same height, which is EF. Look at our EF, 8. So we put down here 8. Again, these two, we cancel this 8 to give us 4. If we add up what we have here, we're going to have this to be your 2x plus 2 into your 4. Opening our bracket, this will give us here your 8x plus 8. Easy. All right. So every T here is in cm square. So this is our A. Then let's give this equation 2. Now, we're looking for the area of this part of the triangle, okay, which we've already succeeded in creating an equation for, which is A1 equal to 4x. So what we do next here now is we now relate this whole area now, which is the area of the bigger triangle, to these digs. Okay, so if we are to express this in terms of this, this, the area of the bigger triangle will now be equal to the area of the blue side plus the area of the uh, pink side. So let's go ahead and express that. So we now have here area of triangle. What is uh, the triangle? E, F, H is equal to the area of triangle. Uh, let's continue. Okay, area of um, triangle. The smaller one, which is E, F, G. Okay, the area of E, F, G plus the area, area of triangle E, G, H. E, G, H. Very easy. All right. So let's look at this now. We succeeded in looking for the area of dix, which is dix. So we can go ahead and substitute this into this place. So substituting, we're going to have here 8, which is here, we have here 8x plus 8 equal to EFG, which is this, EFG. Look at what we have from it here, A1 is equal to dix. Is that also? So Let's put this expression here. We now have here 4x plus area of EGH, which is EGH, is given in the question, which is 40 cm squared. So we have 40, 40. The question is made easy now. Okay, so from here, let's collect our light terms and see what this gives us. All right. All right, so collecting our light terms, we're going to have this to be your 8 x then four crosses to this side will give us minus four x equal to 40 minus eight all right so this will give us our four x equal to eight from 40 will give us 32. now if you look at this no need to calculate for x okay no need of calculating for x why because if you come to equation one we say the area of efg which is E, F, G is the area of what we are asked to look for is already 4S. So we are having 4X is equals to 32 cm. So therefore, therefore, we cannot say that the area A1 of the um, uh, blue side or the blue portion of the triangle is equal to your 4X, which is equals to 32 cm squared. So in R, this now implies our A1 is equal to 32 cm squared. Okay. All right. This 
mark the end of this challenge as simple as a b c okay so just take a look at this from the beginning to the end of the solution if there's any place that is not too clear or there's a place where a mistake uh, was made then drop it in the comment section and uh, we are there to reply to your comment if you love something good from this challenge drop it in the comment section if you've not even learned anything from this challenge just say thanks jay okay give the video a thumbs up okay because it's not easy all right but you have encouraged us in the time past you're still encouraging us and we are here to serve you better again this is all i must tv and my name remains jicks anima remember i love you so much because you are always there even during the little time where we had some break you were still there during our content that alone gives us satisfaction i love you and everyone at All I Must TV loves you so much. Bye for now.